Good morning, Dr. Rhonda Randall. Welcome to the Valder BB Show. How are you today? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I am having a fabulous day. I want my audience to know that I'm speaking with the Chief Medical Officer of United Healthcare, Dr. Rhonda Randall, and she's going to maybe help us wade through what we're going through with our uh, medical plans. Dr. Randall, it's time for enrollment, and it's time for us to pick a health plan for 2023. I don't know. This is about bad as going to the dentist, but it's something we have to do. So... um, a lot of people don't know the dates of enrollment. That, I think, is most critical for us. We just think once October rolls around, that's when it starts. Before the end of the year, that's when it stops. But we found out something different. So what are the enrollment and the uh, final dates for uh, picking a new health plan? Yeah, well, thank you for having me. Hopefully, we're here to make it make it a little easier on you as we enter open enrollment season. If you're one of the tens of millions of Americans who get their coverage through an employer-sponsored plan, generally between September and December, you're hearing that it's time to make that open enrollment decision. You usually don't have a lot of time to make that decision, usually about two to three weeks. If you are a Medicare beneficiary, your open enrollment period is going to begin on October the 15th and end on December the 7th. So I think one of the most important things is starting to get educated now and early about what your plan choices are. You might be very happy with your current coverage, but it's a good opportunity to reassess it, make sure it is the right coverage for you as you go into next year. If anything changed within that coverage, how much it costs, or with your own health situation. You're so right about the coverage. Uh, We put out that you'd be here this weekend, so social media, they sent us lots of questions. So I'm going to take one or two from there if I can, and one of them is that they um, they want to exit their health plan. And so how do they know to choose another health plan? Because they pretty much picked that one with their eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is this is the time of year to do that. So uh, whether you're getting that through your employer and they'll have a website for you, or if you're doing it through Medicare, their information's on Medicare.gov. For example, we also have links to it on our websites. Uh, you want to see what options are available to you and compare it with your current coverage. So this, the, your um, listener is asking the right question. If you do choose a new health plan, and that will automatically take you out of your old one. Tell me a little bit about the whole person health. Yeah, I'm glad you asked that. You know, one of the things that is really important is that whole mind-body connection. Also, understanding that healthcare isn't isn't only about our behaviors. That's a really important part of it. You know, whether or not we're getting some physical activity and not smoking and making all those healthy, nutritious choices, but it also is about where you live and the social determinants of health and the care that you get when you go to the doctor. So having a primary care physician is important to whole person health. It can connect you back um, to all those things to help you navigate and quarterback your health. And, you know, in regard to your health benefits, some of the things that are whole person health that you're going to want to consider prescription drugs, mental health benefits, specialty benefits like vision, dental, and hearing, wellness programs like a fitness membership, for example. And also think about plans that have virtual health care services. Telehealth has become very popular in the last few years. Okay. One of my uh, posters from Twitter wants to know, tell us more about what makes United Healthcare different because every health plan that is pitching us says they're the best, they've got all the services, but what's different about United Healthcare? We're a very mission-driven organization focused on helping people live healthier lives and helping the health system work better for everyone. But it's about that personalization, recognizing that you are unique and that you have unique needs and supports, and we're here to help you with that. I think the other thing is United Healthcare's plans are very comprehensive and integrated. So often you have one number to call with one person to help support your whole health, like we've talked about just a moment ago. 
That is, that's very tantalizing. I like that. Where can my audience find out more? Because I told them they would, I wouldn't be able to answer all their questions, but we can send them somewhere where they can get more answers. Sure thing. We have all this information, including some of those, you know, confusing terms that can be out there. What's the difference between a premium and a deductible? How are our copay and a coinsurance different? All of that information is on our website. It is UHC openenrollment.com. This has been so good, uh, Dr. Randall. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for kind of help cutting through the confusion of us making these choices. Thank you very much. Thank you. Be well. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I broadcast on radio, streaming TV, podcast, and in print publications. I interview the world's most fascinating authors, all because I love a good book. This summer, I've partnered with WPS for BB Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books, books that inspire me and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you for the next Beebe Summer Book Giveaway.